Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're back today with game number 24. It's going to be the final game of the sixth round where the Kings Eleven Punjab will take on the Kolkata Knight Riders. Now the Knight Riders have struggled so far in this competition with just one victory and four defeats from their first five games. Kings Eleven, on the other hand, have won four, lost one. But before we get into today's episode, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on the screen now so you can follow this story through to the finals. We've also got a career mode on the channel. The link to that is in the description down below. Make sure you go and check that out. Now, back into today's episode, let's get out there for the coin toss, find out who's going to bat and bowl, and then we'll get into today's game. Right then, we're coming out onto the pitch. I believe it's at Punjab Park today. The bales are going on then. We're at Punjab Park today for the game between the Kings Eleven and the Kolkata Knight Riders. I think Kings Punjab are going to name a pretty much an unchanged side. So you can see there, Gale opening the batting with Lokesh Rahul, Agarwal, Karol Nair, uh, Chris Lynn, Shubman Gill, Andre Russell, Dinesh Karthik then, and the Kings Eleven captain, who I can't remember who it was, are now going to come out and decide who's going to bat first and who's going to bowl first. Overcast conditions once again here for today's game. Uh, they've called tails here for this one, the Knight Riders, and it's heads. So the Punjab have won the toss. Now I think they're gonna have a bat first here, and they've turned to bowl. So that's another prediction we've got incorrect. But let's get into it then. So it's going to be Chris Lynn to face the first ball along with Strubman Gill, who will be down towards the bowler's end of the crease. It's going to be Mohammed Shami, who comes charging in to bowl that first ball. In towards Lynn. Shami, quite a full length on that one. Um, Chris Lynn just plays it towards the fielder there. Mohamed Shami with his right arm fast medium. About to just put a bit of shine on the ball now. Comes strolling in. At a medium pace here to uh, Lynn, who uh, pulls it away on the leg side. Uh, they're going to pick up a single here. Pretty slow between the wickets there was Lynn. Shubman Gill now will be on the strike. Start things off with a single. It's Shubman Gill then into bat, just marking his uh, position out there on the crease. And it's going to be Mohamed Shami again, just getting the finger position right on the ball. Comes steaming in towards Shubman Gill. Uh, full of delivery again. It's in swinger, but Shubman Gill saw it nicely and he's got that one away. And that's gone for four. Beautiful shot to open the scoring for Shubman Gill. That's the first boundary of the match. Straight down the ground, middles it past the bowler and that races all the way for four beautiful shot then and that puts the night riders on to five in comes gill then ready to face another and there we go nice shot but the fielder is in position in extra cover manages to stop it from getting through to the boundary and it's mohammed shami again then in towards gill he just checks his leg side, manages to get it away off the toes. It should be single. They might think about two here. Yep, Gill's going to come back for two. It's going to be close here, but I think they're just great dive there from Shubman Gill. Gets him home safely. And now we're going to have the final ball of Mohamed Shami's over here. And it's going to be Shubman Gill who faces it. The Knight Riders are on to seven. A boundary here would be ideal. Uh, it's a fuller delivery onto the toes. And I think this could be out here on the boundary. And that's gone. Great catch. By the man on the fence, and that sees the end of Shubman Gill. Uh, it's quite a, a decent length delivery there from Mohamed Shami. Nothing spectacularly, a bit fuller than I think Shubman Gill was expecting. Gets underneath it, and there's a fielder there on the fence. I doubt it is Ravishandran Ashwin. Let's have a look who it is then. And it was Agarwal who made the catch. Beautiful stuff then. Shubman Gill goes for six, and now we start the second over. And it's going to be Andre Russell who comes in to bat now. It's Arshdeep Singh taking over the bowling duties. Left arm fast medium. Coming across the wicket here to Andre Russell to face his first delivery of the match. And he gets after it. And I think that could be gone. And that's gone. Brilliant overhead catch there. And that is the end of Andre Russell. And this could be another defeat for the Knight Riders. Great ball. First delivery there from Arshdeep Singh. Gets it into the air. Fielder there running away from it. Takes it over the shoulder. Beautiful catch. Great skill involved in that. And that is the end of the Kolkata Knight Riders innings. As the two batsmen walk off there. Russell with the bat under the arm. It's a beautiful catch. And there's Gills four. There's a beautiful catch that by the fielder. Caught by Singh. Bowled by Singh. Gone for a duck first ball. Golden duck at that. 
So it means that the Kings Punjab will just need eight runs to get the victory today. And we've got Chris Gale with the bat. It's going to be Sunil Nareen bowling the first over with his right arm finger spin. And is Gale going to put this to bed early? Let's have a look and see what happens then. And it's Nareen in towards Gale. Lovely shot that. Makes the space. Drags it across the leg side. They're just going to take a single. They're not, they're not going to rush this one. They've got... Eight to get well, seven to get from eleven balls. Lokesh Rahul to face his first delivery, and this should be, in all intents and purposes, a victory for the Kings Eleven here. Oh, it's a beautiful bit of movement there from the Reen. Kept fairly, fairly straight late on, but there's a lovely bit of in swing there, off the pitch of the ball, and it's going to be Nareen who's shining the ball now, ready for the next delivery. Rahul, oh, it's a lovely bit of movement again, and that's a great shot, though, and that's gone for a boundary. That's four. It's an excellent shot by Lokesh Rahul. Good delivery, however, from Nareen, but Rahul was more than adept to play it off the back foot, gets it up and away, and that races down to the boundary. It's a lovely shot, and we can see it there just hitting the tape now. Remember, guys, if you are enjoying this uh, episode, remember to leave a big fat thumbs up on the video down below for the YouTube algorithm to help promote this content to more people. And uh, it's Lokesh Rahul ready to face another three needed from four. Another boundary would be good enough here. And he gets it up in the air. Doesn't quite measure it as well as he did the first one. But they're going to come back for two here. This is going to be quite tight, but throws it to the wrong end. And they pick up two. So one is required here. It's going to be Lokesh Rahul again. Chris Gale has only faced one delivery in this game because it's all down to Lokesh Rahul. The scores are level. Nareen into Rahul who takes a big wild swing. Doesn't quite catch it as you would hope. And the fielder picks it up, which means the final ball of the over of Sunil Noreen. Will it give that run to the Kings eleven, Or will we go into the second? Oh, it's a lovely shot off the back foot. Just gets, chips it away. And that secures the points. They don't need to run anymore. They've got the victory here. And that is the single they needed. So the Kings eleven Punjab have got the victory here today by two wickets over the Kolkata Knight Riders, who basically threw the game away. Uh, courtesy of that second wicket which was just a poor shot I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode remember to leave a thumbs up on the video down below if you have make sure you let us know in the comment section if you are enjoying this series and you want to see more and also if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button but for today's episode guys we are out of time we'll be back soon probably tomorrow with the first round uh, the first game of round number seven